What's up, everyone? Flashcraft. That's right, it's Bo here from Flash TV Talk, and I am in the Legion of Doom. Got the mother box behind me, it's all kind of loading in around me, Solomon Grundy's hanging out. And I also have something else behind me, which we're about to take a look at. It's this. This is the palette, the colored palette that I'm planning out here for the exterior enhancements that we're going to use on the Legion of Doom. Now, this is my hope for this. Right now, Bell has created this massive black stone kind of dome. And for the most part, it is like literally black stone all the way through. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. But it's time to go ahead and, and get this thing polished and looking right. So if we go into our meeting room, you'll notice that I've actually started to do some of the work in terms of detailing, kind of removing some of the black stone, putting some of the, you know, the bricks and kind of the cracked bricks and some of the, the polished bricks and all, all that kind of good stuff. That's all there. And it gives it a little bit more of a texture, makes it look like it was built. Uh, you know, there, there's some sort of mindset going in. And that's what we want to do for the whole thing, or at least the face at first, uh, but preferably the whole thing. And so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be replacing some of those stones with these blocks right here. But because the Legion of Doom theoretically goes in and out of the swampland that it surrounds, we also want to create that sense of like overgrowth and nastiness. And so we're going to have vines using the leaves kind of hanging down. We're going to have this black terracotta, which looks like a deep, dark mud uh, that'll be kind of clumped around. And then we're going to be using black concrete or rather concrete powder and wool to give a sense of corrosion uh, that, that, you know, will kind of be around some of the, uh, especially kind of the, the mud, the, the mud, the mud buildup. And so, yeah, so this is kind of the palette that we're using. I've never done like, like a pre laid out palette, but I thought, you know what, let's do that this time. It's such a big, massive project to try to take on. And it's also probably going to drive me a little crazy to do this. I messed around with it in creative and yeah, doing this in survival is not going to be fun, but we are going to attempt that today. And yeah, not sure how far we'll get, but we're going to try to do this with a little bit of kind of a time-lapse video. I'm kind of nervous about it, but let's see. Um, let's see how we do. Let's go.
Okay, and I think we did it. Uh, I think, well, yeah, we got some cleanup work we got to do. We got <laughs> to get rid of all that and everything. Um, and, you know, the great thing is the, the, the whole concept here is we don't want to, like, cover this thing in, like, mud and, you know, grass and, I like, guess, seaweed and, and gunk. Like, the backside right here, you know, it has, does not have very much on it. It's got a little bit, but, you know, this is really all about this. Woo! Yeah, that's looking good. I think that looks really good. You got the gunk and the corrosion and the grass and everything. This thing has gone in and out of uh, the swamp a few times. I decided, you know, we, we kept it kind of simple in terms of the black stone and not wanting to go kind of too crazy with the whatchamacallit. What, what, whatchamacallit? You know, the, the bricks, the, the black stone bricks and, and all that kind of good stuff. We didn't, we didn't go too crazy with that. So that, ooh, oh, we actually want to keep that. Let me put you back where you are. Boom, boom, cha-boom, boom. And you go right over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, so as I was saying, we want to, we, you know, I didn't go too crazy with it, so we did kind of maintain mostly black stone, but there is a couple of these bricks in here. Uh, you know, it just if it felt a little bit too full, then I kind of switched out a few. And to be honest, I'll probably continue to do that throughout. Ooh, let's get that bed. This is good. I don't need to get that stone up there. But aside from this cleanup work, I do think that we are basically done-ish with our portion of the exterior. Now, the bottom portion, I know that uh, our, our boy Fox has been working to kind of cl clean up, connect, and uh, deal with the table leg, I suppose, the, the base, uh, getting that connected appropriately. And so I think last I heard from him, he's got about a fourth left of the work to do. And so that needs to happen as well. And then I think, I think like, and then there's like this kind of stuff like, you know, so there's, there's just a lot that needs to still be cleaned up uh, from that standpoint. And so anyway, Fox is working on that. And then I think after that, we should be done and ready for our first meeting inside the Legion of Doom, getting the flash crafters all together. Uh, there's much to discuss. And we will need to discuss all of that. And it just seems appropriate to do it here at the Legion of Doom. Trying just to spot check for anything else that I need to get. Just trying to clean up my own work here. I know there is some discussion going on about the eyes. Bell really wants the glowstone for the eyes. And I've, I've messed around with it in, the, in my creative world. And I just can't get it to look right. To look the way that... It just, it looks a little messy if, if it's got glowstone. That texture, I, I love the idea of, you know, everything lighting up. But that being said, the texture of the glowstone is just very, I don't know, very kind of distracting, busy. I don't know. So I just went with, with kind of the clean. The other thing, too, is because of not just the, you know, the kind of the uh, uh, residue and, and leaves and everything else, but just the, the black stone itself is also kind of a busy block. It's just kind of a busy texture. And so I thought, you know, the eyes actually kind of provide a little bit of a different feel. And I think it actually makes them pop a little bit because they're more smooth than the rest of the build. So I don't know. That was just my thoughts. And I don't know. Yeah, I mean, like, even if you put some of those blocks in, it, it doesn't really break up the stoniness of it all. I don't know. But I think we're done. I think I think we I think we can safely say we're done. Uh I don't know. Do I want to put black concrete inside? Like powder. We've got the powder. Whoo! Okay, this is always tough because I never know when I'm like done done. I mean, you know, I uh, uh would that would that look good? It's only like right there, right there. I, yeah, all right, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's just try it real quick and see what it looks like. Might not be even that noticeable a difference. I don't know. That's a, that's a little bit of a noticeable difference right there, yeah. Can't tell if it's a good one or not. These two bottom ones kind of like block this pillar in a way that doesn't feel quite even, but what if we go to the side here? We're kind of coming in. No, it's the same kind of deal, isn't it? 
Yeah, and then you have like with well, a full pillar there, but then the other side's like all blocked off. So let's take these out. Whoop. Yeah, better. Okay. That gives it a little bit more of a sleek, kind of maintaining that sleek look. I like it. I think that's good. I think that works. I think it works pretty well. And I know we're kind of flying in fast and furious here, but no, this is great. Okay, this is good. I like it. I am pleased. I am happy. And there we go. Boom. Awesome. Well, we did it. The Legion of Doom has been completely uh, wrecked outside. <laughs> we, we completely messed it up. The, uh, the bayou that we, are, we find ourselves meeting in uh, has done its magic and outside of this place. Um, yeah, there's, there's stuff clinging on and, and it's all muddy and corroded and, and that's great. And so now all I have to do is just walk around this place inside and uh, clear out this. But I got to say, it does make me kind of, I don't know, I'm self-conscious again. Because now we still have just a little bit more time. Like, you know, I need to, I guess, switch that back to normal flooring or, you know, the same kind of birch flooring. Uh, do I, I mean, like, you know, this, it's, it's a big empty space. Do I put a little bit more in it? You know, some of this stuff I'm really proud of. Some of it is a little bit less meh. I don't know. I still hate that, but, but I think I'm starting to love the fact that I hate that. So it's kind of this remaining thing that I hate and maybe that's okay. Maybe it's, that's fine. You know, it's, it's the Legion of Doom. You're not supposed to, like, walk in and feel happy. You're supposed to let the hate flow through you, right? So, yeah. I think... I think that might... I think that might get us for now. Yeah. Okay. So, there you go. Legion of Doom. My portion, anyway. Done. Fox has got to finish this up, and then we can, uh, yeah, get the Flash Crafters together for the big showcase episode. And also where we can talk to him about uh, Star Labs and... I don't know. There's there's a lot of things going on 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 the on the realm here that probably need some deliberation, and this might be the opportunity to do so. Plus, I feel like as kind of the the super villain of the realm, having a meeting here is kind of like my. It's not necessarily my home turf per se, but it just feels right. So yeah, maybe we'll be at an extreme advantage uh, when when going through some of these negotiations. We'll find out. But regardless, stay tuned. That's going to get us for today. But until next time, goodbye.